my name's Lydia and I'm a medical student and student vlogger here in Southampton and today I wanted to give you a whistle stop tour of the city and show you all the places that you might visit if you're a student living here. Right, we've got lots to see so let's get going. First stop on the tour, we've got Highfield Campus. This is the main campus in Southampton and most likely where you're gonna be spending a lot of your time here. It's home to Hartley Library where you're gonna be spending a lot of your time during exam season. You've also got the brand new Building 100 or the Centenary Building which opened last year. It's a very popular place for people to go and study. When you're in need of downtime or a little break, there is plenty of places to grab a coffee or some lunch, including a prep, a costa, and plenty of other cafes around campus. There's also a gym here, the Jubilee Sports Center, which even has a swimming pool and you'll also find plenty of open green spaces to come and sit and hang out with your friends or course mate. There's also the union shop where you can buy uni merch, grab some food. My personal favourite is the vegan sausage roll that they do and you can buy stationery. It's got everything you might need. After lectures you could grab a drink at the union pub, Stags. My favourite night out there has got to be the karaoke night on a Thursday. It is so much fun. This is just the main campus at Southampton but there are loads of other campuses just around the corner. We've got Boulderwood for engineering, Avenue for Humanity subjects, there's the National Oceanography Centre and even the Winchester School of Art. So that's a quick whistle stop tour of Highfield campus. Now we've got a short walk because we are heading to Southampton Common. We have arrived on Southampton Common. Can't really fit it all on the camera but you get the idea. So the common is definitely the best place to just get outside, go for a walk with flatmates or housemates, go for a run or just chill out on the grass. It is really the best place to get outdoors. In summer, it's also a great location for barbecues. And during the year, there's plenty of events here like fun fairs and music festivals. So that's the common. Now we have got a short walk again as we are heading to Portswood High Street. So we are here and we are heading over here. So after a bit of a walk, I have made it to the centre of Portswood. If you're a student in Southampton, you are definitely going to be spending a lot of time here. Portswood really has everything you're going to need. And a lot of the student houses are actually around here, so the chances are you're going to be living somewhere very close to Portswood. You've got big Sainsbury's and Aldi to do the big shop. You've got plenty of coffee shops and Trago Lounge is the best spot for brunch. You've also got an array of charity shops to peruse, as well as plenty of pubs and bars. Not forgetting, probably the most famous nightclub in Southampton, Jester's, as well as Sobar just down the road. You really do have everything you need here and you're gonna have plenty of things to do. All this touring around Southampton is thirsty work, so I'm gonna grab a coffee and some lunch now before heading into the city centre. just had some lovely lunch in one of the local coffee shops in Portswood and now I'm gonna catch a bus into the city centre. I've made it to the city centre and I am just standing outside the main shopping centre, West Quay. In West Quay, you'll find hundreds of shops as well as the brand new West Quay 2 just behind me, which has so many amazing restaurants. Whether you want to get a cheeky Nando's or my personal favourite, Losteria, they have amazing pizzas, the biggest pizzas you'll find in Southampton. There's even a cinema and a bowling alley in West Quay too, so you're never going to be bored if you're in town. Just that way, you'll find Ocean Village with plenty more bars and restaurants. And we're going to head this way now through the city centre and up to Bedford Place.
Right guys, so I'm gonna end the tour of Southampton here. I hope you found it useful to have a little look around at the kind of places you might be hanging out as a student here. I'm gonna head home now, but thank you so much for watching. Bye.